Hey, what's going on, guys? So the other day, we did a whole bunch of mass witch attacks at Tunnel 15 into Friendly Challenges, and I was showing you how to make that strategy work. But in today's video, we're going to be taking it into war. So we're going to be talking about some of the potential risk that this attack has and some problems that you could potentially face if you're trying to pull this off. The biggest being, can you actually get the Town Hall down if you're coming in opposite and you don't have any spell support and you don't have any jumps specifically? Because you require heavily on the log launcher giving you access across the base and into the town hall and on a base like this it looks pretty tempting to just zap out both of the scatter shots here and then run a log launcher to go right through all three of these infernos and the eagle artillery across the middle of the base there so it looks like it's a good idea but there's always an inherent problem with this and that is does the log launcher actually have enough logs that it could even possibly, if it takes zero damage, get the town hall compartment open? We know it can get a couple logs to actually damage up the town hall a little bit there. But, oh, by the way, um, if you guys didn't notice, the monolith, if it's targeting a pet or a hero, it shoots purple beams. If it's targeting other stuff, it actually uh, shoots uh, green beams there. So if you're ever curious what it is targeting and you want a visual indicator pay attention to the color that the beam is shooting out is because it'll just give it away right there if you ever see a shooting purple it might be a good idea to freeze or pop a word ability to save the hero that is targeting or or the pet it depends <laughs> all right well either way back to what i was talking about he put in the world champion on the far left side to start to collapse in the trash there but the witches did not get the town hall compartment open and since you use up 12 lightning and four or two quakes i mean to be able to get the scatter shots down that is six lightning and one quake each you end up not having a jump to be able to get you into the town hall compartment to actually make sure you go in there and that's a big problem because if you start to wrap around it and the town hall is beating down on you the entire way around and the base like many do have a channel that surrounds the town hall to direct the troops out of the base there and have them leave the town hall area and go around it so we can deal more damage that's a common base building technique that we really have to be worried about here luckily for spyro he ended up taking the risk and the witches at level six are just that powerful that he is still able to get the triple anyway let's go ahead and get ready for this attack here everybody's set looks like everybody's set so wish me luck let's go see if we can take him down here we go. We're going live. Oh, wait. Ah, eh. Okay, I can press attack and then I can use the power potion once I get inside or hero potion. I was like, oh, wait, I was like, wait a second. Do I need to pop an advance here? But I remembered I could do it once I'm in here. So I'm going to pop a hero potion, get those higher level pets. And then we have open corners down on this side and over on this side here. So we don't need to wall break on the corners. Otherwise, I'd sacrifice a witcher two for additional wall breaks. But let's go ahead and end in the... Golem. Golem. Get the wall breakdown. Get the witches moving. Get the king, queen, warden. Log launcher. Now let's go do the lightning. We'll go quake. One, two, three. One, two, three. Get on the other side. Quake. Oh, taking some damage from those cannons. A little bit slow on that. One, two, three. Okay. Pop warden. Pop king. Oh, I should have popped king first. I should have popped king before I popped warden there. That was a little bit of a mistake there. I could have made the barbarians invincible to the strikes there and that could have helped out a lot. I'll throw in uh, Archer over onto that lab that was left behind and we're going to go right down the middle of the base here and it looks like we got a lot of witches working so we're doing alright here. The Ice Golems will take the lead and we'll throw in the Roar Champion over on this left side with this Golem maybe or wherever the witches are going. I want to have the witches stay protected and make sure that we or okay there. It looks like my queen potentially can target there. Oh, that model has got her and the single photo got her, but we got through the wall. Let's throw the world champion up top as we have the golem crossing through up there. We have the Phoenix there to give the world champion some extra support there if necessary, but looks like we'll have some ice golems freeze up the town hall area. That works out great. And we'll have the witches on the outside there do some work on the outside trash. That works out awesome as well. We're doing all right here, but the town hall is going to do a lot of damage, and I'm a bit worried about that, but we do have a lot of uh, witches that are hanging out outside of the town hall, and that might be the saving grace here. So we'll pop that RC ability. Let me get the single down. Let me get the single down. Maybe the world champion can go finish off the base here. She's still got her unicorn. Or not unicorn. She has uh, the phoenix. I think we might have it. I think, I think we got it here. The world champion is going to go down, but the Phoenix will revive her, and the Phoenix will also assist in the cleanup. So there we go, guys. We did 
identify the base correctly that witches would work on this one here when we see especially when we see multiple single infernos and we have access in the town hall we didn't even get access fully into the town hall in that one because the log launcher ended up falling just a little bit short there and we had to beat through the last wall but luckily it was already damaged up there pretty heavily and we had a really clean funnel there by taking out the scatter shots that are on both flanks of the town hall which naturally forms a funnel to get the troops where you want them to go so i think it goes without saying but i need to say it anyways we can't just throw witches at every base it would be stupid and irresponsible to always go in and risk those one stars consistently we need to be thinking about the overall meta at Town Hall 15, and knowing that it is so extremely difficult to get Town Hall 15 triples, we need to make sure that we are, first of all, securing a two-star on every base. And then we can identify the bases that have a potential weakness to an attack like a witch attack, and then we can throw it at it. Make sure that we don't end up leaving a one star on the board at the end of the war if the witch attack, in the very likely case that it does happen, goes wrong. So keep that in mind there when you're trying to break out the witches and definitely have some people with a attack like a Queen Charge Hogminer hybrid in their arsenal. Something they can go in with a safe two star. Electro Dragons is also a good one there. Or we can go in, we can guarantee that we get at least a two star and then we can hopefully have enough force to actually get the triple down as well. So if you have a base that the Town Hall is kind of exposed like this and you have bomb towers and multi infernos in the Town Hall compartment, then we need to be thinking about a Queen Charge Hogminer hybrid going into that base instead. So we just charge the Queen in, we take the Town Hall down, and then before she steps into even further danger, we put in the hybrid using the Queen Charge area clearing as a funnel for the hybrid. And then in this case, using the King and the Siege Barracks as a funnel. And I'm kind of surprised that we're still seeing so much use out of the Siege Barracks and not as much use out of the Battle Drill. I thought the Battle Drill would be used a lot more. Are you guys seeing it used in your wars? Because I honestly haven't seen a lot of it here. So, kind of interesting there. Also, we just saw the um, the monolith once again. You saw it uh, shoot purple beams there as soon as I looked over out of the corner of my eye there. Instead of looking at the camera, staring right into your eyes. Hey. <laughs> we uh, saw that the monolith was shooting a purple beam. It was not shooting a green beam, meaning that it was targeting the the lassie of the world champion and you can definitely pay attention to that and have your freezes ready definitely pay attention to the color of the monolith here but as you can see queen charge hog miner hybrid is still very very strong with the new level of miners and the new level on the heroes even though this attack uh looks like he's missing a couple hero levels there he's got his queen maxed out there but that's about it but and he's still he's still using old pets here but he's still able to get the triple here because this attack is so strong you definitely want to keep a queen charge hog Miner hybrid in your arsenal and another attack that's also doing really well we've talked about it a bit is super bowlers so we're gonna quickly bounce over to this other one we're not going to watch it all the way through here because i just want to show something interesting on it that uh, sj net did he used the battle drill as a funneling tool which is honestly i kind of like it now this base the reason why we're not going to show it all the way through here is because this base does not have spell towers and does not have a monolith and has random holes all throughout definitely go back and uh make sure you actually set a war base after you went to town 15 because there's a lot of bases that are messed up right now and you need to be paying attention to that so <laughs> don't fall through the cracks you're like dave dave jeez dave <laughs> all right the attacks that are actually working really strong in the meta right now that we need to be paying attention to, witches, we've seen. The Electro Titan attacks, we've seen. The Super Bowler attacks, extremely powerful. I think they're going to be on the high end of the attacks that are actually tripling here. But notice at the top of the base here, to funnel for this anti-2, he threw his king up there, and then he threw in the battle drill. A lot of people like to throw in a flame flinger to form the other half of the funnel, but a battle drill and the king honestly do some pretty good work there. And then the battle drill stuns the defenses, so the king's not taking too much damage there. And out in those light areas, the battle drill stunning defenses is really, really useful. It's really powerful. I like that. I think a lot of people would typically use a, a flame flinger to go form the half of the funnel or a siege barracks, but the battle drill, I think, outperforms a siege barracks 
when it was used like that into a low damage area. So let me know what you guys think there. The other attacks that I think a lot of the pros are using are Lalo attacks there. And I don't think Lalo is going anywhere anytime soon, specifically Blizzard Lalo. So check those attacks out. I have some uh, videos that will be popping up uh, here and over there while I'm talking right now. So definitely go check those videos out and check out some more Channel 15 action. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.